Oh, okay. Uh, about to go left. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Vintage Bricks. This is Johnny Five coming to you live from the 459 here in Central New Jersey. Uh, we're about to do our uh, PSA show on a Monday. I know it's different, but we have things to do Wednesday, uh, which Lane will talk to you uh, now. Uh, Lou, you still there? Okay. Uh, we can go live on PSA if you want. Great. Uh, yeah, phones. Hey. Yes, hello, Lou, and welcome, everyone. Uh, it's a, uh, and I'm not used to recording on Monday, so I was a little off, uh, <laughs> off my timing here. Um, but glad everybody can join, and, uh, Watch the show here. We have a lot of things to talk about for this week. Uh, Lane will hop on, hop on right now. Um, so yeah, Lou, how how are you doing your tourney and your bracket? Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Me neither. <laughs> uh, me too. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, I heard about that about the that game Duke. Thomas. Yeah, crazy. I guess you're gonna be able to talk about it, but uh, I have to see the highlights. Uh, hey Reaper, what's up, Troy, Matthew? Uh, all right, I'll let let you jump on now. All right, talk to you later. All right. <laughs> hey Lou, how are you? Oh, uh, not too much. It's pretty good. <laughs> I've always wanted a distinguished name, like W squared William Wallace. I like it very much. I believe so. Yeah, exactly. It's funny because I'm a big fan of the the uh, the name Billy. Uh, you know, I go by Billy Vaughn. You know, when when folks ask me about Vince, so it's the whole thing. We'll talk about the national. <laughs> hey, Troy, how are you? What's up, Quentin? Um, so we have a fun show planned. Thanks for everyone joining us on a irregular Monday at 4.30. Uh, as we mentioned, um, you know, Lou has some plans. We have some plans uh, upcoming this week we'll talk about in just a few minutes. So thanks to everybody for joining us on our Vintage Breaks PSA show today. Of course, you can find us at facebook.com slash PSA card. Um, you can also watch us on YouTube. However, if you want to participate in our free giveaways that we've now had for at least, I think, a few months in a row, uh, it's been a lot of fun here. The interaction's been great. Um, but the only way to qualify, Lou, of course, as you know, is to interact with the show. Leave a comment or two or ten. Um, anything related to collecting, something that you just bought, um, maybe you just bought something out of the REA auction or Steiner auction that closed last night. I know that I did, or at least in uh, REA. Steiner was not successful. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I kind of ran out of time in Steam. Um, I mean, they both ended last night. So, uh, you know, I won a bunch of stuff in, uh, in REA. And um, Steiner had a nice auction as well, but um, I didn't win anything there, unfortunately. Well, that didn't, that didn't happen, but we are planning a Boston trip. And so, believe me, I plan to both contact you and, of course, Tom, and probably that means Ellen, um, to uh, ask a few suggestions, also see if we can all get together. I'd like you guys to meet Crosby in person. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, and Boston's great during the summer. You know, even if it gets a little too hot, plenty of things to do inside. Um, we went there several years ago before Crosby was born for a Fourth of July weekend because um, we were kind of we had done it in New York City a bunch of different years, um, Hoboken, New Jersey, a few different years, and so we wanted to experience it. Um, you know, out of town, and, and really, it's uh, it was wonderful. We had a, we had a great weekend up there. Uh, yeah, so uh, how are you doing in your tourney, Lou? Uh, I'm sorry, you should have at least got in the free one for us. That's okay. Yeah. Well, 
Oh wow! And and how did the uh, how did the movement of all the other shows go? Okay, were you able to balance it and such? All right, good. Um, cool. Well, we're going to start off by uh, letting everyone know. Um, uh, thanks again for joining us. If you participate and at least uh, make mention of uh, one comment during our show today, of course, it does have to be on the PSA Facebook page. You're going to have a chance at the end of our show at 5:30 today for one of ten prizes. And one of those prizes, Lou, check this out. So Dale Murphy was really popular last week. This is a Pete Rose signed card from our recent pack openings with him. This is from 1970. And we're not only going to give this away for free today on the PSA show, but we're also going to offer to authenticate it and send it in to our friends at PSA on the house courtesy of Vintage Breaks. So, oh, wait till uh, we just firmed up some plans for this week. Uh, what's up, Alex? We're about to uh, talk about um, a few of those plans. Uh, one of those plans Alex is involved in uh, and some other stuff that we have uh, as far as athletes and pack openings. But I did want to announce... Um, the prizes that we had for this week's episode. So if you comment during the show today, you're going to have a chance at one of 10 prizes, including the Pete Rose 1970 Tops sign card that we just showed you. And we are going to send that to PSA for you if you'd like to get it authenticated on the house, courtesy of Vintage Breaks. Um, we're also going to be giving away a $50 break credit this week to VintageBreaks.com, a $25 break credit to VintageBreaks.com, a Vintage Breaks t-shirt, a 1982 Tops baseball cello pack, and the last five prizes will be one spot each in our 1973 Tops baseball set break, which now has about 40 spots or so left. John, you may want to take those five spots down um, at VintageBreaks.com. The big hit in that is the 1973 Tops Mike Schmidt rookie graded PSA 8. What's up, Mark? How are you? Thanks for joining us. So I want to talk about uh, the plans for this week, Lou. Um, Alex, uh, our good buddy Alex G, just hopped on. Um, so Alex is the... Uh, uh, gentleman who was kind enough, uh, who won the three tobacco packs that we recently showed off. Um, and all the plans are now firmed up. Um, Gary V and his team just got back to me. They changed it till this Wednesday at five o'clock. Uh, they're giving us 20 minutes of their time, which is incredible considering what Gary's schedule is like. So we're very, we're very uh, thankful for that. Um, we're going to show off one of those packs right now. John just got some incredible photos. You're going to be able to find out more info on this uh, historic break this Wednesday at 5 o'clock. You can find out at event.vintagebreaks.com. And, John, only because you had just taken it out, uh, I think I'll take it out as well, at least one of the packs. So I said, uh, you know, John, be careful. He says to me after, he goes, they're really brittle. I said, I'm not sure if you know what careful means, but yeah. <laughs> now, listen, it's all good fun. Uh, once again, Check this out. How awesome does this look now out of the plastic? I mean, unbelievable. Lou, this thing is over 100 years old. Now, I'm not saying it's mint, but that's really nice. That's what I mean. The, the graphics are gorgeous. Um, by the way, the Laurel Art Company, you can see that at the bottom, uh, that made some really uh, famous, very rare boxing cards. Um, and if you're not familiar with for Polar Bear uh, Tobacco, this was a clean-lasting chew and a cool sweet smoke. Yeah, that, by the way, that's not an easy thing to say often on a show. A cool sweet smoke. Oh, well that's, by the way, when they say no factory sweepings, do they mean like no factory, like they were cleaning up and they included some crap in there? I'm not sure what they mean by that. That's really gross. So, like, if you bought food in 1910, did it have to say no sweepings? Oh, I'm not comfortable with that. We're not talking about that on Wednesday with Gary. Um, so, uh, this is one of the three packs that we're going to be tearing into. It's blue, it's like a dark blue. But this, to me, is fascinating. Check this out. This is the seal. That's legit. I mean, un unbelievable. I can't wait for Wednesday. Uh, if it wasn't for uh, Alex um, and not only winning the packs, but then also, also thinking about us um, and giving us the opportunity to work together, uh, we've been planning something for months. He's been very patient with us, and we appreciate that. Yes. Oh, 100%. It's a tax stamp. You know, I'm, I'm so nervous. I don't even want to put it back in the box right now. I'll put it... Oh, it's, it's incredible. Um, uh, just FYI, folks, because we're not sure how Gary feels, 
I plan to not only bring, uh, of course, three tobacco packs, which Alex was gracious enough to let us open on air, um, but we're also going to bring some of our Guest.gum archive. And believe me, I'm not going to be the one to, to ask Gary to chew old gum. Uh, I can't afford to be sued by Gary. Um, but uh, I do think that it'll be interesting if he's uh, wants to share with his audience, you know, what would they rather, like, pick your poison. Old tobacco, smoke old tobacco, or chew this really vile gum from 71 that has, like, I don't know, seven different mold spores, according to Mikey. Hey, what's up, Michael from Manalapa, New Jersey, uh, where I grew up generally. What's up, Dan? How are you? A lot of folks hanging out on the PSA show today. Appreciate that. Once again, if you do make a comment, you're going to have a chance at one of ten prizes. Hey, what's up, Heather, Rich, Mike, Jamie, Jim, Kev, David, and the rest of the gang? Appreciate everyone joining us. Um, so that's what we have going on for this Wednesday, Lou. Um, I know you mentioned you have a trip. Where are you uh, going this week? Oh, very nice for a business or pleasure or both. Very nice. Very nice. We'll have a great time. Uh, hopefully the weather will be, uh, will be awesome out there. I'm sure it will be. That's great. Well, I, uh, I love it out there. Shout out to my buddy Mike and his lovely wife, Carolyn. Uh, they just welcomed a newborn uh, a few months back, and they just uh, closed on their first house. We're about to. Um, and they're from California, so, you know, I love it out there. It's great. I always try to mix business and pleasure when going to California so I can stay longer. Hey, you got any stock tips out there? Any technology stock tips? Let me know. <laughs> probably, probably not. Um, hey, what's up, Brandon? Thanks for joining us, bud. Um, so I wanted to uh, take a minute before we get into our first pack opening today. Um, oh, what's up, Tim? Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Hey, William, I'm glad. Uh, by the way, William has been with us almost since the beginning, uh, William Tudoroff, who just found us on the PSA. Um, and I'm, I'm appreciative of the fact that he said he could finally catch one of these shows. He's not exaggerating. So he's not only been a supporter, he's bought from us. Um, I would say maybe once in a blue moon is he able to join the show. So it's, uh, it's kind of cool to have folks um, join us and be able to watch us live. Um, and, of course, William and anyone else, please, if you're going to be um, uh, thinking about going to any show this year, I implore, I implore you to go to the uh, Chicago National Sports Collectors Convention. It's going to be incredible. Um, and speaking of conventions, we just booked it shortly before our show. Hey, Charles, how are you? Brian, Tim, um, we just booked it and finalized everything before the show today. I was uh, sleepless this weekend. I did not know the scoop until just a little bit ago. Um, but we had booked it. Um, and it's funny because the first thing I say to my wife uh, when I mention the athlete that we've just booked for this weekend to open a pack with, she goes... Wasn't he on Dancing with the Stars? And I'm thinking, you know, he was, I think, but that's not really what he's known for. Yeah, so apparently I'll be bringing that up on the show this weekend. So um, we were uh, fortunate enough to work something out um, with his agent, Bill, and Mr. Emmett Smith has agreed to open up a few packs with us uh, this weekend live from the Chantilly, Virginia show. We could not be much more excited than we are Except Johnny Five is more excited. I can already see on the smirk on his face. Lou, I gotta tell you, I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold it together. I... Yeah, no, it's gonna be great. Um, he actually has his own authentication company, so we'll be talking about that. Like I said, we'll be opening up a few packs, um, and we are absolutely now the ball is gonna be moving and grooving. I'm gonna reach out to Icky Woods. I'd say his people, but I think Icky Woods and his people are all one the same. Um, uh, so I'll let everyone know I know Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's going to be there this weekend And um, my buddy Bill uh, uh, Mr. Emmett Smith's agent Says he's going to try to hook us up uh, With either one or two other athletes um, There's an incredible Incredible um, group of athletes Coming to the show this weekend Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, uh, Mike Tyson uh, It's going to be wild there And I got to tell you If we can somehow get uh, like Ricky the Dragon to jump off of a table somehow, like insinuating it's a rope, um, or Icky Woods somehow makes me do the Icky Shuffle, we might have something there. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I would say, you know, I'm going to have to get my wife with some legal stuff ahead of time. So that way, like, you know, knowing there's a 50-50 shot that John's going to get himself into some sort of trouble... Uh, we're going to have everything set up uh, ahead of time. What's up, Paul? Thanks for joining us. Earl, appreciate it, bud. 
Gronk would be a great guy to do a break with, that's for sure. Um, uh, welcome Earl from Earl's World of Collecting. He's been helping us promote uh, Vintage Breaks for about a year now um, on Facebook. Uh, he's got dozens and dozens of collecting groups. Um, Earl's World of Collecting, make sure you check him out. John, if you could uh, pass over that chair or move over the chair. I wanted to uh, show off before we open our first pack today. So, Lou, check this out. Um, you know I like to do this every now and then uh, when we get a fresh collection in. So uh, we just got in. Uh, I should say Johnny Five got in. He's been on a tear. Um, he gets folks to, uh, you know, feel comfortable, understand our process. We try to give people an idea, excuse me, of what they have, um, both in terms of, uh, you know, dollars and in terms of condition um, before they, they actually send something in. Uh, of course, they can find uh, us at uh, justcollect.com on the web, and they can go there for a free appraisal. Um, so this is definitely something, Lou, that will end up as a story and video on our blog at justcollect.com slash blog. So this is so fresh, we've not even sleeved up all the cards yet. Well, Lou, check this out. This is a fresh collection of 1961 Fleer basketball. Totally ungraded. So we're going to go through just a few of the stars. We won't go through every card. Check out that beauty. Very well centered. Totally fresh to the market. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, and so, you know, you're talking about dozens of cards fresh from the 61 Fleer set. Jerry West, rookie. Oh, yeah. He was great. Uh, we'll go through a couple of the others more quickly. There's some great in-action cards. By the way, Elgin Baylor, rookie. Still doesn't give enough credit. You ever check out the stats on Elgin Baylor? Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, listen, I know it's a different time, this and that. I'm just letting you know that he's a top pick on my fantasy team, that's for sure. Um, to me, it's cool even to check them out when they're not even sleeved up. Yes, you know, the 61 Fleers are known for centering issues, but these cars are just really sharp. Go through like this. And a number of the guys are still alive in the 61 Fleer set. For those of you uh, nuts out there like myself, um, you can get a couple of these signed through the mail still, Bob Boozer. Uh, it's a near complete set. Yeah. Johnny Five, what was the deal with this group? I know the Mars Attack story, but what was the deal with this group? Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, I think it was great considering the time period and such, and there was such, you know, like, you know, there was other stuff out there that was definitely not as good looking. Um, yeah, Jason, there should be a bunch of sixes and sevens if we're lucky in eight. Um, love this 71 Opeachy, Kenny Dryden, Paul. It's a great pickup. Uh, so these are just some of the other cards. Once again, we'll fire through a couple of these. Some of these are really nice. There we go. Frank Ramsey, I think, passed away fairly recently. That's a gorgeous card right there. Very well centered. Not easy to find. Oh, another Bill Russell in action. Yep. Nothing wrong with having a few Bill Russells, that's for sure. Yeah, he has two in the set. And this, by the way, very expensive and high grade. Got to take a better look at this. But Al Adels in a PSA 7 or you know 8 and higher, this is the number one card in the set. So not easy to find even centered like that. Just, yeah, number one card in the set, I think, where he appeared in the sheet, um, you know, as well as they just didn't take care of him because of the rubber bands and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to uh, show off the other collection in just a few minutes here, uh, live on our Vintage Breaks PSA show. Want to open up a pack or two, um, and then uh, if we have time, we'll talk about this weekend um, and our good buddy Joe Drellick and the rest of the gang at Chantilly, Virginia, they are putting on a fantastic show, and we're looking forward to getting out there. Great. So, Johnny Five, we're going to do 72 Tops Basketball first, pack number 80. This is one of our favorite packs here to open. Lou, these cards come out beautiful. And we haven't pulled Dr. J in a little while, so hopefully we're due. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I think he's more than I think he's trying to keep his cool right now. I think it's one of those where 
He's like, Lady, uh, excuse me for a minute. I have to go outside and take a call. And then you hear like a very loud shriek. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, well, most certainly Michael Jordan. Uh, I would say Larry Bird. Um, and I think a little bit Don Mattingly uh, because Donnie Baseball was someone that I adored growing up. Um, you know, I'd be, I'd be low on, mowing the lawn and my dad would tell me, hey, you know, Roberto Kelly's up, Donnie Baseball's up in two uh, batters. I would literally like throw down the mower, shut it off, book inside. That would be my lemonade break. And, you know, like, yeah, I tried not to miss his at night if I couldn't. It was great. Yeah, it didn't matter, though. It still didn't matter. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, I got to see what Donnie Baseball is. Uh, okay, so we're going to randomize the list here, folks, nine times. For those of you who are new, appreciate you joining us. What that means is we randomize the list based on what the die, or the dice say. So nine times. We're going to press the randomizer at random.org nine times, which determines the list. First card will be right underneath the gum, right there, card number one. Good luck to Chad, Rob, Todd, and Jim. Jim's actually pulled a Dr. J rookie with us before. Jim, if you're listening, hope all is well. I agree with you, Stephen. Time for a doctor. That's what we're hoping. What's the sentiment up there about Gronk right now? Do they think he's definitely going to retire? Because I see, I've seen a few articles, Lou, that insinuate that says uh, even his agents suggesting they don't know if Gronk's retiring. I found that hard to believe. I feel like he's waited this long. Okay. That's true, I would say. I'll tell you, I'd say the same thing I would say to Brady. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously they'll play two different positions, but since I've been alive, I haven't seen someone play tight end better than Rob Gronkowski. Uh, and it's unfortunate because he was a Patriot, not a Jet. Uh, it's the same thing I'd say about Brady. Um, but really, the guy, you know, uh, if you saw him play, um, it was it was really hard not to root for him, once again, even as a Jet fan. Um, yeah, absolutely. So let's get down to it. 72 tops basketball. Card number one is going to go to you, Chad. That's right underneath there. And Chad, you'll actually get the last card as well. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is going to be at the convention this weekend. And... Um, there's an out, it won't be hard to find. I just watched a great hour and 10 minute, you know, documentary slash, I don't know, you know, biography, if you will, on HBO, trying to learn more about, uh, Mr. Jabbar before I potentially meet him this weekend. Um, I now have his agent's name. So that's the first card there. So we flipped it over. Um, uh, I now have the agent's name, but I've been told it's better to, uh, reach out to them when I get to the show directly talking about opening a pack with him. So that's what I'm going to do. So can you imagine in the same weekend if we're able to open a pack with Emmett Smith and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? It is unbelievable. Now, have you ever seen the special on HBO? I, I encourage you. Um, you know, I really like these specials because they're not just talking about the athlete, but they're talking about the man behind the athlete. They're talking a lot of times about the athlete's particular path to how they got there. And then in some cases, and I thought this was great because I knew a little bit about Jabbar, but not a ton. Um, and from what I had at least perceived that I thought I had, I had known um, was that he was a very quiet guy. He didn't really like the press. And the special really elaborated in Kareem's words, you know, not someone else's words. In his words about his relationship with the press, the media, about how he felt as a young man both going to uh, college to UCLA and then coming out to playing pro ball. It was fascinating. It was very well done. Yeah, very much so. You know, he had a target on his back for since the moment he started growing, which was, you know, very early on. Yeah, before social media, Lou, 100%. That's what I took away from it. You know, he didn't grow up with Instagram. He didn't grow up with the Internet. And yet everyone knew who he was. That was very uncommon back then, Lou, the way I understand it. That's, I mean, to... to to have that to bear, to deal with, uh, I didn't really quite grasp that until watching it. It was, it was very interesting. Um, this is a, a beautiful card with the ABA basketball right in sight. Ronnie Boone. Looks like a solid PSA A+. That's yours, Chad. 
We got a rebounding leaders card coming up. If it's a rebounding leaders, oh, very nice. So what we have here, we're going to grade this on the house for you, Chad. It is a rebounding leaders from the ABA 7172 featuring Dr. J, Artis Gilmore, and Mel Daniels, all Hall of Famers. Very nice card. It's got a chance at a nine. It's fairly well centered. Oh, yeah, it's kicking. Uh, very much so. Uh, very much so. Um, there's no doubt that uh, he connected with um, with Wooden much more so, uh, much more than just about basketball. It was about life, about becoming. You know, what I found interesting was that, uh, you, you know, I had known, of course, that he had converted uh, to become Muslim. Um, but, you know, what drove Jabbar? I didn't really understand that. And, I mean, he really, he utilized mentors like Wooden to try to become a better all-around person, not just ball player. There's another beauty of an ABA assist leader. Yeah, yeah. Collis Jones. Spot five. This is going out to Rob. Who was your favorite hairdo from the 70s, Lou? I would think so. It has to be. You know, I got I got quoted, uh, I think it was shortly before Oscar Gamble passed away. Um, someone had called me about a 76 Tops card. It might have even been Darren Ravel. I don't remember. And there's a quote about me and Oscar Gamble, 76 Tops card in his hair. And then when he passed away, it was kind of like all over the place. Um, and, uh, you know, I learned a, lot, learned a bunch about Oscar Gamble uh, through that as well. But I would like to ask folks on the PSA show today, who is your, you know, 70s or 60s, you know, who's the hairdo that you remember the most? You know, oh, I love it. You know, I was going to suggest that we do something like this, but I'll take, uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll throw down first and I'll bring it next week if I remember. So, um, Mom, I love you. Dad, I love you. But uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Nate Archibald, by the way, Hall of Famer, spot eight. This is going out to you, Jim. Just a little bit off-centered. I don't know what they were thinking with my hairdo when I was younger, but there's this hairdo I have a picture of. And, like, so they paid money for this picture. You know, they brought us somewhere. They had some children pictures done. It, it I don't know what the deal is, Lou. It's, it's horrendous. I'm going to bring in a picture of it, and everyone's going to have a very good laugh. <laughs> no, I, I didn't call it that. Um, I don't know, but I didn't call it that. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, I saw that from, you know, I had the inclination uh, a little bit from your softball picture I recently saw on Facebook. I literally, when I saw that, Lou, I, I was laughing a lot. I just wanted you to know. Full out. It was great. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. But you're going to you're gonna do the same. Yeah, it was a little bit, but it was like, yeah, it was a mullet crossed with something else. Um, and uh, I got to tell you, yeah, this picture is going to be terribly embarrassing. Man, it's great. Um, okay, so we're going to do a little uh, recap. This is one of my favorite years of basketball. Check out that beauty right there. We're going to grade that on the house. This might be gradable as well. If it is, Chad will grade that for you. See if there's anything else there that looks nice card. There we go. Another Hall of Famer. Nate Archibald. Just a little bit OC for Jim. All right, great. You know, I think, if anything, Lou, there might be a tiny short-term spike because, I mean, let's face it, right? He's going to be a Hall of Famer, I think. I don't, I don't know his career stats, but as long as he played long enough, he's got multiple career titles to his name. Um, it's just a matter of what his career stats look like. Oh, that's what I mean. So, in other words, I think that if, if people believe he's... If he believes that... If people believe he's going to make the Hall then I think that people are going to be monitoring his cards right now since he's retired. And, you know, at some point there will be a push-up um, as he approaches uh, the Hall of Fame, especially, uh, you know, especially in your area, really. It's definitely a regional thing when it comes to Gronk, I'm sure. Yep, I've seen that. Look at the accuracy. had some cool hair. Uh, 
Um, well, I do, uh, you know, myself, um, I can't speak for you, Lou. Uh, how about yourself for opening day? I'll, I'll go first if you'd like. Okay. Oh, it was the first game of the whole season, you're saying? Oh, sure, it must have been mobbed. That's cool. Yeah, I uh, I can't say that I've ever, uh, you know, been able to uh, just, you know, hang out with Peter Gammons, although I very much would like to. Um, it's funny, my, my first, uh, opening day story that comes to mind, uh, for baseball is I had a string of a number of them in a row that I'd been to, um, you know, basically starting in college and then post-college and, um, Catherine, if you're listening, uh, Catherine went on a date with me to Yankee stadium opening day, uh, and she's now married. Um, and the reason why I'm smirking and it's hysterical is I was so excited, Lou, Thought this was the best date in the world, right? Went with a couple of my, I think, you know, my friends came as well. And thinking, like, the weather's going to be just fantastic. Who wants to go to class today? And it snowed. Snow, you know, we could look up. I started Rutgers in 95, and I think it was sophomore year. But, yeah, it's, it snowed. Like, it was horrendous. I think that they they definitely cut it short, and I'm, I'm fairly certain there was a, a substantial rain delay. Um, and uh, I just remember it not being what I was hoping for. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, being the bright, sunshiny skies. But there's something about opening day, Lou. You know, it, it doesn't just signify the start of baseball season, but like the start of nice weather. Uh, I don't know. I love it. Oh, sure. Yeah, you know, I started to pay attention, uh, not just to opening day, but like the first month of the baseball season, and generally now, the only way that I'm willing to go to a ball game in the first 30 days is just, you know, like, wait till that day. You know, pick up a ticket that day, uh, I don't mind buying it, you know, in the parking lot or on StubHub, um, just because that way you can at least see what the weather's going to be like. We, uh, I remember we bought, it was my first trip to uh, Fenway's before Cross was born, and it was so cold late in the season um, that I think we spent like easily half the game like inside the stadium, Lou, just because I couldn't hack it. It was terrible. No, no, definitely historical, that's for sure, but I agree with you. Comfort, maybe not be at the top of the list. Um, so thanks to everyone, uh, again, it's about halfway point through the show, a little bit more so. Um, we're going to be giving away 10 prizes at the end of the PSA show today. So if you'd like to have a chance to win a $50 break credit, a $25 break credit to finishbreaks.com, or this Pete Rose signed 1970 Tops card, which we're willing to send to PSA to get it authenticated for you, and slabbed on the house, courtesy of Vintage Breaks, you can win one of those 10 prizes simply just by leaving a comment during today's PSA Vintage Break show. But we do need you to leave the comment on the PSA network, which of course you could find us at facebook.com slash PSA card. Um, as I'm getting the next pack uh, together here, uh, J5, you got a personal? Or you want to open this one? All right, great. We're going to open up 79 Opeachy Baseball Pack, number 63. I was curious out there if anyone did win anything from REA last night or Steiner. Uh, we won some unopened stuff. Uh, we won um, some vintage cards. I was trying to think about if I won anything for myself, and I got outbid, literally, uh, it was the last bit of the auction, on a Jackie Robinson um, historical photograph from his first season from 1947. Um, so I got outbid on that, and I was bidding on a Hank Greenberg signed photo. I didn't win that. Um, oh, I did win a George Mikan signed photo. I'm a big basketball fan. And it was a very early, you know, like Minneapolis Lakers 1950 um, wire photo, but signed by Mikan. I thought that was pretty cool. 
All right, we're going to randomize it 10 times. So, Lou, do you have an early morning flight out there or late at night and you're going to start your day in the morning kind of thing? Oh, wow. Well, listen, thanks again for thanks again for making the time for us today. I really appreciate it. Okay, so you're going to run it Wednesday. Okay, cool. Well, tell Tom, Rico, and the gang I said hi. So now, Lou, are you one of those before you have to get up early or super early for a uh, for a flight? Do you sleep just the same and your alarm does its work, or you're like you know you're already thinking about the trip? You don't sleep as well. Oh, that's true. I guess that's not bad then. It depends. I've I can. Um, it's funny when I we took our first trip with Crosby. Apparently, I was able to sleep, and uh, my wife let me know. She said, by the way, about the halfway point, you'll be taking over. I didn't know that I could sleep on planes, I told her. And she said, yeah, you can, just so you know. Okay, good. Now I know. Uh, yeah, hey, listen, absolutely. Um, okay, so we're going to open up 1979 Opeachy Baseball Pack number 63. We're looking for an Ozzy Smith rookie. Now, Ozzy will not be at the show this weekend, but I encourage you, please check out um, the CSA show. Um, it's going to be in Chantilly, Virginia. If uh, Sam, you don't mind letting the folks know where the, webs the website is for that. A good buddy of mine, Joe Drellick, that I've known since I was a young kid, him and his staff put on a fantastic show. It's very well run, tons of parking, a lot of athletes. Um, of course, we'll be opening a pack or two with Emmett Smith, possibly a few other athletes this um, upcoming weekend. It's going to be great. Absolutely. Oh, I've been on a Bryce Harper. Check this out. I didn't win it. I've been on a Bryce Harper game used cap, but it was used on July 4th, uh, like a couple seasons ago. So it had some cool stuff. I don't know. I didn't win it because it went for too much. Yeah, yeah. I would have worn it. I wouldn't have saved it, you know, on the sidelines. I just would have worn it. Um, okay, so that is card number one coming out right on top. Let's see what this. Yeah, you, def you definitely are. I feel like you'll be calling me on Sunday. Hey, late, isn't the PSA show today? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? Lou, I've been looking, uh, I I've been trying to, I have been trying to fit in. I even showed Crosby your thing uh, on my phone. Um, I haven't been able to listen yet, but I think this might be a fun weekend to uh, to listen. You might be a little bit short on sleep. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep this gum attached for now. Uh, just because I have a little difficulty removing it, and I don't want to. Oh. And not successful there, unfortunately. All right. Well, Manuel, I apologize that we've just hurt Mr. Evans. But we'll hook you up, Manuel. Don't you worry. Uh, he was great. I happen to like the 79 Opeachy set, Lou, because um, it's got the same design, of course, as 79 uh, Tops, but it's actually a much smaller set. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to find, but yet it still has the Aussie Rookie. It still has the Nolan Ryan. It still has some great, this is, by the way, a great card. Dave Parker, uh, very, very nicely centered there. We're going to grade that for you, Manuel, on the house. Yeah, these are not easy to find. And I think Dave Parker is one of those guys... He's kind of got a, a cult following, even though he's not a Hall of Famer, Lou. Yeah, he really was. Mickey Rivers. Spot three. Doug Rao. Yeah, Bernie Williams. Oh, big time. I love Bernie. He was great. Yep. Bobby, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. So not only do you love the show, Bobby, and uh, you get to watch us. We're normally on on Wednesdays. But if you comment, you generally have a chance to win something at the end of every Vintage Breaks PSA show. Now, he was a heck of a pitcher, right, J.R. Richard? Yeah. When he was... Yeah. 
I don't know, but I, I, I thought it was injury related. Um, but I know that his his uh, his time during baseball, when he was healthy, he was dominant for for a period. Look at that, Rick Sarone, a young Rick Sarone. Yeah, I remember that. Dusty Baker, card number seven. I think we're going to have another uh, minute or two coming up loose. Ooh, we got a Hall of Famer coming up. Back to back. Beautiful. Reggie Jackson. Followed by another Yankee Hall of Famer coming up. So this is spot eight for Jim E. Jim, it looks like a solid PSA eight. I'd still get it slabbed. Yeah, it's, it was a different style, that's for sure. Now, Lou, do you guys ever get into, um, I don't know if this is like discussing politics, but do you ever get into uh, discussing um, the DH role, like on your on your fantasy show? Oh, I figured. Interesting. Stan, that's yours, Catfish Hunter. So tell me what your thoughts are. I'd like to hear. I think uh, I'm I'm gonna agree I'm gonna agree with you on that. So in other words, if you, you know, for example, and I don't want to you know change sports, right? But the hand checking rule in the NBA has changed a lot over the years. I don't want to see people be hand checked. I want to see people play solid defense, but I want to see scoring. So I'm not suggesting it's the same um, in baseball, but I do agree that although I like a well pitched game, I want to see runs and I want to see runs not happen because you figured out a way like where my guy hits the ball 83 percent of the time. Well, listen, I was going to say, that's exactly my point. Um, you know, I forgot what the, the rule was for, like, the hack-a-shack in the NBA, but they were considering changing, you know, the way you can you can uh, foul a big guy at the end of the game. Um, it, it's the same thing, Lou. I agree with you. It's it, the, you got to consider the fan experience. Yeah, you have to consider the fan experience. So although all these are legal, you know, things to do, at the end of the day, like, you're not going to take your family to the ballpark because they figured out a way to devise so that Big Poppy now can hit singles. You want to give him his, his chance. Oh, I would love to see the DH in both leagues only because I think it's a better product. Um, but that's, to be fair, somewhat coming from someone who I grew up with American League ball. So if I grew up with National League ball and if I happen to like that style, I could totally see you signing with that. I just happen to grow up, you know, a Yankee fan and seeing AL ball. I just think it's, it's more fun. Uh, this is a free card here. We've got an extra. So this is going to go out to Manuel. Oh, I I think they're I, but it doesn't start till next year though, right? I think they're gonna. I really do believe this. I haven't got so upset about it, Lou, because I think they're gonna change it. It it, it doesn't listen. It it changes the whole game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you that there's other ways to combat, um, you know, having uh, pitchers come in for only one or two batters. Um, okay, so we have a few minutes left in the show. I'd like to show off. That's interesting. Yeah, listen, there's a lot of different things you could do. I like this, Lou. I feel like we're talking politics now. Some very strong, uh, some very strong feelings on both sides of the fence. I love it. That's interesting. I just saw this comment about J.R. Richards that he was um, Clements before the stroke. So, did uh, did J.R. Richards have a stroke? You know, like mid career or later in his career? When when was it? Wow, that must have been very scary. Um, okay, well, we're going to show off one of the other free tobacco packs that we're going to be opening this Wednesday with Gary Vaynerchuk from Vayner Media. 
in his studios in New York this Wednesday at 5 o'clock. I'm not going to unwrap this. You, obviously, you didn't unwrap it. No, we'll, no, no, no. Yeah, we'll unwrap this on Wednesday. So this one is actually wrapped. Check this out. Once again, Red Cross Sweet Smoking and Chewing. In this one, you might be able to get a T215 or a T207 tobacco card. Check this out. It's beautiful. Look at that seal. Some loose tobacco, but yeah, the seal still there. You know, eroding a little bit, but still there. Really cool. Oh, here we go. Some factory information on the side from the Laurel Art Company. I'm looking to see. By the way, once again, I'm going to be looking. I think I have like some Nabisco advertising stuff from the turn of the century. If they said something like, and we didn't use sweepings from the floor in your cookies, I'm going to wonder why the American lifespan wasn't that long at the turn of the century. That's really gross. Yes. Yep, and if we have time, we're going to take out the third as well. Once again, we're going to open up all three of these, courtesy of our good friend Alex, this Wednesday at 5 o'clock with Gary Vaynerchuk of VaynerMedia. We'll be doing it on his platform, which we'll figure out exactly what that'll be, of course, as well as youtube.com slash vintage breaks. <laughs> Every time I've talked to Julie in the last several days, she's getting crazy. She's like, what do you think would happen if you get a blah, blah, blah? I said national news. And then she gets crazy. She said, oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh, listen, believe me. We're, uh, we're very much looking forward to the experience. Um, I'm also looking forward to hanging out with Gary. Um, you know, I've been listening to his content for quite some time. And uh, it's not just about business. I'm actually going to take this out of the bag and put it just directly in the box. Um, but you know about uh, life itself. He's a big sports fan, so it should be a lot of fun. Yep, there should be. Uh, if you're lucky, there's gonna be one card to a pack. There is no guarantees, uh, of course. There's no expert to go ask um, about them. But yes, uh, theoretically, there should be one card per pack. It could be a non-sport card, it could be a baseball card, and of course, we're hoping it is, uh, in fact, a baseball card. Personal. Uh, yeah, let's open it personal. Tim M., regular of the show. We're going to open up an 81 top seller for you as we have a few minutes left. You could... Sure. So the tobacco pack openings will be this Wednesday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, we're going to have 20 minutes with Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, it will definitely be on his platform. I'm not exactly sure if that means on, on Facebook for him or on YouTube. Uh, uh, he also has uh, a number of different shows that he does. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what he has planned for us. Um, but I also know that we're going to be duly streaming on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks so that no one um, will miss it. All right, we're going to fit in one more pack today. It's a 1981 Topps Baseball Solo Pack. We're, of course, looking for Fernando Valenzuela, Kirk Gibson, and now Harold Baines Hall of Fame Rookie Card. Yep. Yeah, I appreciate everyone making accommodations to uh, to come with us uh, aboard the trip for today, as it was a, a different time. And you need to put in his name. It's a uh, solo pack ninety-five. Yep. All right. Good luck, Tim. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to be, like, as you said, Lou, the tobacco is, like, in a pouch somehow inside and the cards on the outside. I'm hoping it's not in the middle. But that is the part of the fun of it. We do not know what's going to go down. Oh. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, 1981 Topps Baseball Cello Pack. So how many of you out there are going to the National Sports Collectors Convention in Chicago this summer? 
We will be there all week. I get there on Sunday, and we and I stay till Sunday. Last year, we were so busy packing up, and we bought so much stuff that I actually canceled my flight Sunday night, and I came home Monday morning. Yeah. It was... We were... Uh, we were so desperate. Um, Johnny Five, do you remember that? We had no room in the van. FedEx was closing. We, um, our good friends from Golden Auctions were nice enough to fit stuff in the van that they had already packed. And we carried stuff, you know, like on our shoulders across the floor of the National, which is the length of like six football fields. It was, it was a fairly, it was a fairly concerted effort. Here's a popular ball player, not a Hall of Famer, but Greg Luzinski was popular, right? Absolutely. So we have a few minutes left. Awesome, Joe. I'm looking forward to seeing you there uh, at the National. William, you know it, buddy. If you're there, we'll have waivers ready to go for the gum, and you can go uh, directly to the archive with Mikey. We guess the... Oh. <laughs> we definitely have to have the waivers and um, Mikey's going to be in charge it's going to be a Mikey project he's going to have the guest that gum archive he's very sensitive to it I'm kind of thinking like it's, it's not going to just be enough to you're, you're right to sign like you have to get on camera and you have to say listen what I'm about to do is very vile I'm likely to get ill I may not be able to enjoy the National Sports Collectors Convention any longer because of you. <laughs> like, I want to name, I want you to name everyone. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Lou, are you going to be able to come down or because of the same thing we did last year, you'll likely be producing from the, the studio? Okay, well, hopefully they're going to do another live show. It'll be fun. I like when they did that. Just a few more minutes for folks to be leaving a comment on the PSA Facebook page. I have a chance at one of ten prizes. We're giving them out all for free. All you need to do is show us a little love, leave some comments regards to what you're doing for the National. Have you ever eaten some really old gum? Have you ever smoked some old tobacco? You know, stuff like that. I have no idea. I'm, geogra I'm geographically challenged. Um, J5, uh, or Stuart, you may know. So Chantilly, Virginia, like where is that in relation to like, you know, Bush Gardens? You, okay. I don't know. All right. All right. To me, this looks like a guy you would see in an 80s flick. Marvis Foley. Right? By the way, that's two-toned. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. He's got a darker beard and lighter curly... F oh, that is... that is Wow. Let's see. Three hours. Oh, it's three hours away, it sounds like. He did not have a promising... I gotta tell you, give him some credit. Look at the career here. He started in 75. All he was doing was bouncing back and forth in the minors. That's true. You're right. You're right. Yeah, he wins. Drop the mic. <laughs> All right, so um, one more minute for uh, Sam for the uh, list for today, and then we're going to give away those ten prizes, including the Pete Rose card that we got signed while we are out there um, at a recent pack opening with him. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, it sounds like it. So Mark just said, um, Mark's a regular of our show. Appreciate hanging with us, Mark. He says he ate some 82 Tops baseball gum with two of his brothers a few weeks ago when we opened a box. But Mark, you didn't tell us what happened. He's still here, but like, you know, for example, did you gag? You know, did someone cry mercy first and spit it out? And if so, was that you? You know, stuff like that. I was just saying, there's no doubt in my mind that he 100% had that. 
That's great. Well, I can't wait to, to hopefully meet uh, a lot of you at the National this summer uh, in Chicago. It's a great time. I encourage you that if you're going to go, try to start making reservations now uh, so that way you don't have to pay through the nose for whether it be your flight or for the hotel. Um, and I would also say if you get there like the first night before – you know, the show opens and, the, and the de- even some of the dealers get there. I've met in the bar Lawrence Taylor the night before the show, Reggie Jackson. When I say met, you know, this is before uh, the Billy Vaughn fame of opening up packs of athletes. So now that we have that, you know, I don't even know what would happen. But uh, before then, you know, I was a little nervous. So I, I didn't really chat them up too much. I just said you know, hi to them. Um, all right, great. We're going to do our giveaway right now. Ten prizes today. It's been a lot of fun um, today, Lou. Once again, thanks for uh, fitting us in. I know you got a hectic schedule in the next few days. Good luck uh, and have a lot of fun on your trip to Cali. Ah, it's our pleasure. Um, and once again, uh, the other highlights for this week, we have um, our opening of three vintage tobacco packs with Gary Vaynerchuk and Tyler and D-Rock and the rest of his team this Wednesday at 5 o'clock. And, of course, this weekend we will be breaking live from Chantilly, Virginia, for your viewing entertainment. And we will be there from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Emmett Smith will be with us at some point on Saturday, opening up a few packs with us. Hopefully some other surprise guests, including the infamous Icky Woods. We'll see. I'm going to try. In some capacity, I'm going to try. All right, well, let's randomize the list Thanks to everyone hanging out for the show today and commenting. Good luck to Russ, Joseph, Brian, Scott, Jim, Ben, Eric, David, Mike, and the rest of the gang. Eight times. That I'm not equipped to answer. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of crazy stuff you can get. Generals, uh, birds. Um, top ten, right? Uh, top Eight. Oh, I'm sorry, the prizes. Yes, 10 prizes. Here we go, at eight. All right, eight. Great. Mark, you just won $50 break credit to vintagebreaks.com. Derek, you won a $25 break credit. Kevin G., a regular of the show also. We're going to hook you up. You just won the Pete Rose signed 1970 Tops card. Sean, you just won a Vintage Breaks t-shirt. And David M., you just won an 82 Tops baseball cello pack. Excuse me. Clark, Joe, Scott, Logan, and Rich... You all won one spot in our 1973 Tops baseball set break. Of course, if you want to continue watching and hanging out with us, you can do so at youtube.com slash vintage breaks. We'll be hanging out for the next hour and change or so, telling you about the rest of the week. We have quite the packed week coming up, and we're really looking forward to it. Lou, thanks again for everything today. Don't, yep, thank you. Don't forget this Wednesday at 6, at six o'clock, um, Do not miss the Great American Collectible Show with Tom, Rico, and the rest of the gang. Next Wednesday. Thanks, Lou. Safe travels. And Smith. And Smith. Yep, take those. Take those. Take those. Take those. All right, Lou, I'll see you. All right, that was the PSA show. If you guys um, didn't see your name on the list, it's because most likely you were on the wrong Facebook uh, chat room. You have to be in the PSA card Facebook page. Um, Go to the Vintage Breaks link. That's where you can actually chat. Uh, we don't look at any other outlet because it is PSA, uh, so we, o- we can only do PSA show. Uh, but now that's over, we're back to our regular YouTube channel, Facebook channel, um, stuff like that. Ian, you were, I'm going to show you another. He was William Wallace. William, you were in 22nd place. 22nd. Hey, what's up, Steven? Hey, what's up, Andy? Yeah, you got to go to facebook.com forward slash PSA card. 
you have to have a Facebook account. Um, if you don't have one, then you won't be able to chat and participate. Steven, let's see. Steven, you're wearing it. Um, you got 52nd place, my friend. Steven Garrett on eight times. Steven, 52nd. And Mr. William Wallace, you were 22nd. Uh, so Steven, you're in the right place. We got you, sir. Uh, Andy, I don't think you're in the right location. Nope, you are not. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're going to be breaking for about an hour and a half-ish. Uh, I just wanted to uh, break some packs with you guys. Um, don't want to leave you guys hanging after the PSA show. So, I'll right. bring in one special in a few minutes for me. Okay, we'll have a... WTA and stuff like that. So uh, let's clear this up before I do though. Let me email. So uh, let's start from the bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four. So five. So one, two, three, four. So Clark down to Rich Frank. So Clark Standish, Joe Cerullo, Scott Denny, Logan Ward, uh, and Rich Frank. You guys are all getting free spots in. The 73 tops football set break, uh, which I already reserved your spots, so Victoria just has to add it in. Uh, so, free spots for Facebook uh, giveaway 1973 top baseball set Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Victoria, it's all set for you. Okay. I reserved five. So I put F book winners, FB winners. Put it on the, uh... 73. Okay, on the joint thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. Mark Cruz. Mark, you're going to get a fifty dollar break credit, which Sam will take care of. So break credits. It's gonna be Mark Cruz. Mark, I hope you register on the website. Uh Mark What's up, man? Yeah, let's break some, shall we? Joe, I am pretty well, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Derek, the tobacco packs were uh, given to us by Alex Griffith. Um, he won it during auction, and uh, you know he wanted to know if we will break it so people can see. And uh, he said, sure, why not? plug is... <laughs> Uh, will you guys be at the show Friday? Today? Yes, Matthew, we are going to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we're going to be breaking uh, with Emma Smith on Saturday. So I will be wearing my Cowboys jersey. Um, yeah. So, uh, so Mark Cruz gets $50. Uh, Derek. You're going to get 25 break credit. And the Pete Rose autograph card will go to Kevin Gertson. What's up, Kevin? Kevin Gertson. Congratulations, Kevin. You got the autograph. Um, Pete Rose, 70 tops, Pete Rose. That's going out to you. And we got fourth place, which is Sean. Sean Sullivan. Sean, I'm sure if you're still watching. We need to get your size on your shirt. Uh, we have just collect shirts at this point. We don't have any more vintage break shirts. So um, make sure you contact Victoria, Victoria at vintagebreaks.com. Uh, email her the size of your shirt that you like. My right here, nope. And 82 baseball cell pack goes to David McCann. David McCann, 82 tops baseball cell pack. Awesome. So done, 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 done. All right. This is for me. For me. Chris 
Chris T. If Duke wins it all the way, my friend, then you get the the trophy. I forgot what it was. The trophy uh, plus, of course, the main prize. Uh, that 86 for your Michael Jordan rookie card. That would be yours, Chris, if you have Duke. Problem, Kevin. Congrats. Okay, so now that that's done. So I heard what happened with Duke. I heard that it was like a buzzer beater or something like that, or, or they missed a shot, something like that. So, Chris, when you when you're watching the game, were you like a little nervous during that time? <laughs> yeah, for us, it's going to be um, a four-hour drive to Chantilly. Victoria will be driving the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's start off the night. 1979 Tops Football. Pack 113. Okay, got a couple of... Duke should be out now for sure. <laughs> well, we'll see, man. We'll see. Anything happen. This is for a 1979 Tops Football Wax Pack, number 113. Good luck to Manny, James, Rob, Brian. There we go. 10 on the random. <laughs> Jonathan, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. First card for you will be right here. Come side. Steven, uh, I will say, what time is it? If I, uh, I'll probably work around 7 o'clock. We're not going too long tonight. Tomorrow we're going all the way to like 11 ish. So. All right, card number one, Frank Coro. Oh, man, starting off with a kicker. That's never good. That's never good. It's an all-pro kicker, at least, for Rob Zubik. Card two, Calvin Hill for the Browns. For Rob. These are sharp. Look at those corners. Jeez. Card three, Don McCauley for the Colts. Hey, what's up, Skyler? Card four, Schaefer Suggs for the Jets. Yeah, you pulled a rookie, Red Farm rookie. Nice. Billy Johnson for the Oilers. Not the Oiler we wanted. So who's doing snipers? Rob is. Or you are? Okay. I mean, he didn't give us anything else. So. Rob, you going to take care of it? Yeah. Yeah, Rob will take care of snipers. You go back to label. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Because I know you're leaving at 6. So. 
uh, Raiders team leaders with Dave Casper. Part seven, John Keyworth. Yep, uh, the ninety one pro set. Nice, Ian. So, how are you guys doing on your brackets then? <laughs> Almost. Like for our uh, our classic style tournament, who, what are you guys' points? Like, what are you at? I didn't check yet. That's uh, Ron Howard for the Seahawks. Car nine, Vince Ferragamo for the Rams. Dennis Johnson, Bills. Card 11, Andre Tillman, Dolphins. Last card in the pack, going to Rob Dan Pessarini. Quarterback for the Oilers. All right, seventy nine tops football pack one thirteen in the books. Coming up, 84 Tops Football, pack 181. And on cue, we have 72 Tops U.S. Presidents, pack 48. Okay, let's record this. This is for a 1984 Tops Football, wax pack number 181. Go look to Stan, Jason, Manny, Nicholas, Clay, and James. Uh, Chris, WTA, I think one is coming up shortly. So stay tuned. That's an eight on the random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nicholas, you get the first card. So you're right here, dumb side. Kevin, Sam, would you please send me the contact info for PSA submission? Um, Kevin, uh, who has that? Sam, you don't have that link, right? I never gave you that link. The link for the PSA submission. I can get it from Nightbot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh. Kevin, I think, yeah, doesn't that Nightbot give the link? Nightbot gives it every hour, though. But I can do it now. Yeah, do it real quick for Kevin. Here. Hey, Kevin, we're going to put it on the chat, the actual link. First card out for Nicholas. AUC Pro Bowler, Carlos Carson for the Chiefs. Part two, 
Mr. Jim Plunkett. No problem, Kevin. Card three, Scott Brunner. Card four, Dave Wilson. Card five, Jerome Barkham. Oh, it just has Chris's email. Hmm? It just has Chris's email. Well, that, that's not it. Uh, yes. Go to my computer. <laughs> Hold on, Cam, we'll get it for you. Okay, on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, on my Chrome favorites. Okay. All the way to the right. It's going to say PSA something submission. Open up a new tab and click on that, on that bookmark. Okay. Yeah, that's the website. You see okay, it? Just yeah, just copy that link. Okay. And you can either email yourself. Email, email. Yeah, just use my email. Uh, email yourself and TC Victoria. No, that's all I have. Okay. Yeah, this will uh, both of you guys have it. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Paul? No, 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 no. Yes, uh, Victoria. Yeah. Rick Sanford for the Patriots. Nice, Joe. Got you got it, my friend. <clears throat> Card seven. Michael Williams for the Eagles. The dreaded Eagles. Bleh. Whoa. Bleh. <laughs> uh, hey, Chris. Um, I don't think we can. I think that's why. Uh, no, well, not our website, but we have the link where you can actually go. It is his own website, so we're gonna put. We're gonna, if you need it, email Sam at vintagebreaks.com and he'll email you the link. And send bookmarker on your own thing too. They got it to your bookmarks. Johnny Lamb Johnson, for the Jets. Card nine. Team leaders, Buccaneers. Hey, what's up, Troy? Nice. All right, we got a Dan Marino rookie card for Manny. Um, it's the instant replay card. It's a little off-centered. Still nice. Next card Eric Hippo for Lions. Yeah, Chris, the link that we have has all the information. Uh, actually, it has to be updated too. I'm going to post it. Right. Sam's about to post it up. Reskins team leaders. Thirteen. Zach Thomas. Broncos. So you're the first one I'll take all, John. All right. Ten bucks an entry. It's next hundred entries. But I wanted to go over with you what the asterisk is. So they get the whole stack, they get a 73 top set spot, mm -hmm. and then something that we're gonna do for Emma Smith this weekend, um, the pricing hasn't been determined yet. When it uh, does, we'll put it on the site tomorrow. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be opening up a pack or two with him. We're also gonna be opening up a 1990 score supplemental set with him live on camera. That's the set you can find his best rookie card in. They do not make packs for that. So we're gonna do a set break. We're gonna have him pull his card and we're gonna have some. We're gonna have him autograph it 
on camera, um, and uh, someone in that set break, I think there's 132 cards, someone's going to get that Emmett Smith rookie signed by him that we pull out on camera. Uh -huh. So that, what I'm getting right there, is a guaranteed uh, spot in that set break. We're going to sell spots to it. So if you don't get the Emmett, you'll get your card, you're going to get a letter of authenticity that says it was pulled on the state, you know, with Emmett Smith during our break, um, but it's an actual set break. It's not a, a pack. Right. Okay. All right, guys. All so, right, cool. It won't let me post the link. I don't know if it's because I'm in an account or... For... Uh, I think that's why we could never put it to the chat. Yeah. It, so just, it won't let you. Yeah, so it's going through Chris's email. Right? <coughs> no, just... Uh, I will email... Because it, it won't let me post it. Uh, I will email directly to, to Kevin. Okay. I will have to put it up somewhere on the website. Um, but for now, email Kevin Gertson. And who else needed it? Christopher Tickner, too. I think he. Uh, no, Chris, you already know the website. Jeff, I know that isn't his official rookie card, but it's still his card and it's still rookie year. So, eh, yeah. That's a rookie instant replay version. Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. So the winner take all, guys. It started at five fifty. Uh, we need 100 entries at $10. Uh, you're going to get a free spot in the 73 top set break. You're going to get a 68 uh, P. Rose, a 69 Ernie Banks. You're going to get a 54 Monte Irvin. Uh, 60 tops Harmon Kilbrew. 54 Bowman. Bob Thompson. Is that Thompson? Bobby Thompson. Uh, 60 tops, Carl Ferrillo. It's Ron Santo, 66. Yes, 66. 70, Reggie Jackson All Star. 72, Tony Perez. 75, Burt Blylevin. 66 tops, Daryl LaMonica. And a 71 tops, OJ Simpson. Second year. Plus, you're going to get a free spot in the 1990 score supplement set, breaks, set break. Which, uh, Emma Smith, once he pulls it, he's going to autograph it. So, that's going to be interesting. I'm just thinking about administration part of it. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's the winner take all, guys. 5:50 p.m. Uh, 100 entries at ten dollars. Mark, we're uh, I'm breaking until seven o'clock today. Seven o'clock. That's a nice looking card. Uh, Rick Upchurch, card 15. All right, that's the 84 Tots football pack number 181 in the books. Kevin, you have a Beckett? Hey, what's up, John? Of Kevin, you have a Bain, uh, Harold Baines rookie card graded by Beckett? Is that what you want? Because we can't do that. We can't cross over. That's not a crossover program. If that's what you're referring to. What's good, my man? What's good? How you doing your brackets? Seventy two US presidents pack forty eight. Okay, on cue we have 
85 Fillier Baseball Wax Pack number 26. Number 26. Uh, okay, let's record. This is for 1972 U.S. President's Pack number 48. Good luck to Mark, Jared, and Comedian Mike. Hey, what's up, Ken? Camilo's in the house. Uh, yeah, so Kevin, are you tr you're not trying to send in a Beckett card, right? Because we can't send in a Beckett graded card for a crossover. Just want to make sure you haven't responded yet. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's what the dice. That's an eight on the random. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you for going, Justin. All right, Jared, get the first card. What? I forgot these packs only have five cards in them. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tim is not in this one, actually. Uh, okay, Jared, first card right here. Good luck. Oh, okay, Kevin, sounds good. That's okay. That's, I'll take that one. All right, card one for Jared. Here we go. Number card number twenty-two. Ooh. All right, I know what's coming up. Grover Cleveland. Card number one. Going to Jared. Can there is? It is a uh, winner take all. It's a hundred entries at ten dollars. Uh, you're going to be getting a seventy three separate spot. You're also be getting a free spot in our nineteen ninety score supplement set break, which is happening Saturday for the Emma Smith break. So, because um, there's no packs, it's a it's a a set of a hundred and something, and whenever he picks his card. He's gonna autograph it on camera and then put it in a card saver and then that's the card you'll get. So we're gonna be random off spots, also selling the spots. But we have don't have a price point yet. But no matter what, you're gonna be winning a free spot for that separate. And if you pull it and it's your name, you're gonna autograph uh Emma Smith card. That was so awesome. Uh so it's that plus uh a sixty eight P Rose, you get a sixty nine Ernie Banks, fifty four Monte Irvin. 60 tops Harmon Kilbrew, 54 Bowman Bobby Thompson, 60 tops Carl Ferrillo, uh, 66 Ron Santo, Reggie Jackson, 70 tops All Star, 72 Tony Perez, 75 Burt Blylevin, 66 tops Daryl LaMonica, and a second year OJ Simpson. That is the winner take all 100 entries at $10. Rob is keeping track. Um, yes, so that was card number one. Card number two, going to Mark for go. Mark, you get in the number one card in the set. One of the best cards you need to get in this set. Um, the back looks okay. It doesn't look bad. It looks okay. Um, let's find out how the center is in the front, shall we? All right, Ken, sounds good, my man. Skyler, have you ever been... Ah, that's for Lane to find out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Victoria. Okay. That is card number one for Mark Virgo. George Washington. Number one card in the set. Unfortunately, it's a little off-centered. Sucks. But, man, sharp corners. 
smooth edges, smooth surface, pack fresh. There's the back. They're gonna get you with the all centering, but you know, it could be the it could be a seven, it could be a nine LC. It's, it's up to them. Car three. Wow, car number three. Thomas Jefferson. That's awesome. Spot three, card number three. By Michael McDaniel. Comedian Mike Thomas Jefferson. There's the back. Very nice. I'm sure I'll be getting an email soon from Mike about grading this card. Card four. Card number 42 is the candidates, Edward Kennedy. Amen to that, Stephen. Card five, going out to comedian Mike, James Monroe. Yeah. Card number five, there's the back. Very nice pack. Very nice pack. Got a nice George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. Steven's all about that, Steven. I like that. Alright, thank you guys. So it's kind of like a um, bittersweet for this weekend because, yes, I'm a big Cowboys fan. Yes, I grew up at the end of the triplets era uh, watching the Cowboys. And that's it. After the last Super Bowl in 97, 98. Um, no, it's 96, 97. Uh, that's it. I have not seen them win or go to the Super Bowl since then. Uh, so it's bittersweet because... Yes, I'm gonna get a little starstruck when I meet Emmett. I also have to do my job, so I have to make sure that the camera's running, to make sure the 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 random is working, I have to make sure there's no issues, I have to make sure that um, whoever's holding the camera this time doesn't shake it too much. Um, by the way, that was Mike holding the camera last time. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's, it's gonna be so busy. I'm like, I, I want to be able to focus too much on Emmett, but. Uh, it's still gonna be cool, you know. It's gonna be cool, and uh, maybe I could take a picture with him I guess. later, Sam. Um, I got a picture with Barry. Uh, I got a picture with Michael Vick. Uh, I wear my Anik Emma Smith to that. That'd be cool. So when you're all set, you can call it a day. Uh, all right, we got 85 player baseball coming up. Then we got 79 tops basketball, pack 66 in the queue. This is for our 1985 Fleer Baseball Wax Pack number 26. Good luck to Adam and Charles. That's an 8 on the random. Uh, J5, do you know if they made any 60s British racing cards or 65 Daytona 500 cards? I don't think so, Brian. Uh, the most popular racing cars are from what I remember it's like the mid 70s they made some racing cards Johnny what's up man all right eight times one two three four five six seven eight okay
emailed. Okay. Uh, good luck, Charles. First card right here behind the sticker. It's the Angels. All right, card one. Mike Marshall. Mike Marshall. Card two. Tom Gorman. Card three. Walt Terrell. Brian, you can't put any links, man. Sorry. Joe Sambito. Car five, Brian Downing. Car six, Daryl Porter. Card seven, Rick Leach. Card eight, Dick Ruven. That's a great action shot coming up. I have no idea, Brian. Tom Foley, card number nine. That's a great action shot right there. Card 10, L. Oliver. <laughs> Jonathan, no, man. that That's not like a... That's not our break. That's uh, Alex Griffith. Uh, he won those in auction. And he asked if we were interested in breaking it uh, live on air. So Leighton said, sure, why not? Um, so that's that's it, really. There's no, you can't buy into it. I mean, it's Alex's cards. Whatever comes out of those boxes it goes to Alex. Uh, but, you know, we're really uh, uh, happy to, to do that for him. And it was a great gesture uh, for him to uh, have it you know, be shipped out here and opened up on air. It's, it's pretty cool. Brian, I, I don't know, man. I can't, I don't control the night, but can't overfill. I think you'll be fine, though. Card 12, Edwin Nunez. Charles, after all the hype, will be disappointed there are no tobacco. <laughs> well, I, I mean, doesn't it come with tobacco cards? Is there a chance that it doesn't come with any? Mark Clear, card 13. Hey, what's up, Paul? Charles, is there is there a chance that there might be not uh, might not get a tobacco card in those? Card fourteen, Mike Easler. Greg Nettles, last card in the pack. Card fifteen. There you go. That is 85 clear baseball. Pack 26. I mean, that would be a shame, Charles, I know, but I, I hope there is some cards in there.
Nah, really, this is good. Nine bot is good. So, Jonathan, there is a big chance. Wow, that's crazy. I did not know that. Well, let's just hope for the best. You know, that's. I guess that's that's the risk you take. You know, Alex. I'm sure Alex knows. So. Okay, guys. Seventy nine toss basketball pack sixty six is next. On cue. Time is, okay, yeah, let's do that. On cue is our 1984 Tots football rack pack number 10. Number 10. Okay. Four. This is for 1979 Tops Basketball Wise Pack number 66. Good luck to Leroy, Brian, Steve, Jason. Oh, God, it's a 12 box card. Not to be a downer, but the couple of videos I have seen of people opening them, not one of them. But Jesus, how many, how many, uh, what's a couple, like two? You saw two videos, Sean? That's a 12 on the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, let's see if you this. All right, Brian, get the first card right here. Three to four, and none of them had a card. That's crazy. What kind of uh, what kind of tobacco boxes were there? Which ones? Okay, Brian, here we go. Charlie Scott. I believe we're looking for an Alex English rookie card in this one. I have pulled one before. Went to PSA for grading. Steven, I I think so. I think we're out. I'm pretty sure we're out. I think that's like the last one. John Lucas card two. Unless Layton has some in uh you know, like one maybe left in the in his cabinet. But out here in our cabinet, it's done. Hey, what's up, Kev? Car three, Larry Keenan. For Brian. Joe C. Merriweather for the Knicks. That must have been heartbreaking. Johnny Davis, Pacers, card five. I think it's really cool. And then open that person, I think they should be left unopened because they're a piece of history. I think. Oh. Steven. Oh, okay. A bunch of country flags. Country flag. Hey, Jim. From 19 last cigar bosses. Yeah, I remember those. They're okay in the market. They're all right. They have to be like high grade, like eights, and nines, and tens uh, to have some value. From what I've seen, uh, Walter Davis.
Harlan, if there is no card in the cigarette pack, Mary Chuck should just have to fire up one of those heaters and complete. <laughs> I cannot be healthy for you. I don't know what's worse, smoking that or chewing gum from that back in the day. Ron Brewer, card number seven. Hey, what's up, Steve Taylor? Hey, Mike, there you go, sir. Yeah, man, you had a nice pull, sir. Card eight, John Drew. Uh, Mike, just email Victoria which ones, if you want any of those PSA graded. She'll send you an invoice. Card nine, Caldwell Jones, 76ers. Card 10, Reggie Theus. Eleven, Armand Hill. Hey, what's up, Joe? Uh, let me check for you. Phil Smith, Warriors. Last card in the pack. I mean, well, yeah. Phil Smith for Jason. All right, guys, that is 79 Tops Baseball Basketball Wax Pack, number 66 in the books. Okay, it's done. What pack was that? 146. Nah, Joe. We won't be to, we won't be able to get it tonight. I'm only on until seven. I have a I have a rat pack, and then I may have time for one more pack, but I don't have your pack prepped, so I won't be able to put uh, break it out tonight. <laughs> all right let's get the next thing ready how are we doing the winner take all Rob how many spots filled we need 51 29 oh 49 all right guys we need 49 spots to fill up the winner take all at 100 entries <laughs> if you buy a spot in the cup that's it you fill it up man one spot in the cup. I think one spot already sold, so uh, we need uh, somebody to step up and do that. Uh, got a spot. Yeah, there's three spots left. We're three spots away from opening a 2005 Upper Deck, the cup. Uh, possible Sydney Crosby rookie patch autograph worth 15000 plus and Ovechkin worth 10000 plus. That's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna take all guys. We're 49 spots away from filling this up. Uh, 100 entries at $10. Uh, I'll be able to give that away before we leave tonight. Again, I'm only here until seven ish. The break down there, Keisha, don't happen. It's a lot. <laughs> Joe, we just try to push, like, we we try to update every day with those packs and the new ones that break out, uh, sell out. Uh, you know, we try to get to it, but there's packs ahead of you. So, it, you know, we do our best. We do our best. The break calendar is like a guide of what's coming up, like a preview. Hopefully, the preview is, you know, gets uh, closer to uh, breaking that day but in reality it might be the following day or the next day after that okay let's get this ready
1984 tops rack pack number 10 Okay, we got Camilo, Winford, uh, Mark, Steve, Dana, Chris, John, Dana, Manny, Russ. Yeah, Russ, you got to spot on this one. <laughs> it's a calendar, but not really. Uh, yeah, it's more like, a, yeah, give you a little boost. To like, hey, listen, we got you. We see your packs sold out. We're going to break it at some point this week. That's what more it's like about, yeah. This is for a 1984 Tots football ride pack number 10. Good luck. That's an 8 on the random. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, Camilo with the first card. Emailed. All right, guys. So, stack one is right here. Stack two, stack three. So, put two right there. Put three right there. And that Fred Dean, which is the uh, glossy card, is going to Camilo. Spot one. Stack. Uh, is this the PSA? Hey, Michael. No, the uh, the PSA show ended at five thirty. This is just our regular show. All right, Keith Willis, card number one for Camilo. Card number two, Carl Bertson for the Cardinals. Part three, Richard Todd. Car four, Anthony Munoz. This is for Chris Abbott. I think that's a off miscut there on the top. Card five, Walter Abercrombie. For Dana. Card six, Sammy Winder or Winder. I wonder which one it is. Card seven, Jerry Ellis. Card eight. It's the ASC Championship. Raiders versus Seahawks. Raiders beat the Seahawks thirty to fourteen, and that is Marcus Allen running with a rock right there. Card nine. Rick Sanford with the Patriots. 
Mark, should I create that GW? Uh, uh, probably. Uh, just because it's a number one card. Uh, you know, if it was center, we would grade it for you in the house, but. Um, we know it's off center. We know that they don't give you a qualifier, or they're gonna drop you like two grades. Steve Largent, which is a nice card. Card number one, the set too, man. Eleven. You got Tim, uh, the Lions team leaders, with Billy Sins. Card 12, Leonard Thompson for the Lions. You should ask these guys. I know they collect too. Steven, I think, collects. Tim collects. Uh, Luke Prestridge for the Broncos. Fourteen. Jack Lambert. Nice. This is for Camilo. Uh, Steve Largent. Seventy six. Seventy six was first year. Reskins team leaders with John Riggins. So I could be 77 or 78. I'm not sure which one says Zach Thomas, card 16. Seventeen, Andre Franklin for the Dolphins. Seventy-seven. Yeah, I mean, if he has seventy-six stats, then the year after he'll make his card. So yeah, it should be seventy-seven. Ulysses Norris for the Lions. Card eighteen going to Manny. Alright, stack two coming up. Uh, Mike, where are we at with the Doe TA? Right, how many spots left? How many? 11 spots left, Mike. 11 spots left. Got team leaders again with Billy Sims. Car 20. Leonard Thompson. The Lions. A lot of Lions cards in this one. Twenty one Mark Mosley. The kicker. Hope you guys know I don't like kicker cards at all. Twenty two Pat Ryan. Twenty three Dwayne Board. Forty nine ers. Twenty four Kevin House. Kevin, ticket to the house. This for Camilo. Twenty five. You got record breaker Franco Harris. Noise.
<laughs> uh, Kevin, I uh, yep, I uh, yep, I can't, I get that. It's card twenty six. This is for Camilo. Camilo, and I'm looking at this card. This, is, they completely ruined this card for. You got like wrinkles, creasing, and a, like it just like went through the roller. It kind of looks like it just beat the heck out of it. Uh, I'm gonna give you a refund on this card. <clears throat> All right, there you go, Camilo. <clears throat> but the card is uh, Fred Smurlis. There you go. 27. Luke Prestridge. I just add some glasses to that and you're good you're good 28 Jack Lambert again wow looks like it's uh it's dupe it's dupe that's a nice card though nice center 29 Redskins team leaders with John Riggins Turn off the logos here. Thirty, Zach Thomas, Broncos. <laughs> Thirty one, Andre Franklin. Oh man, this blows. It's just the same run now. 32, Ulysses Norris. All right, that was new. 33, Super Bowl with Raiders and Redskins. The Raiders beat up the Redskins 28 to nine. It's about Marcus Allen, about to get ball thirty four another kicker Mick Luckhurst thirty five Jeff Groff Groff Jeff Groff he looks like a kicker but he's a wide receiver I'll let it slide. Yeah, that was a very nice uh, center Lambert, Jeff. Okay, you got the Bengals team leaders with Chris Collinsworth. Everyone's favorite sports announcer. Chris, you marks. <laughs> How much you lose, Kevin? How much you lose? All right, stack three coming up. I hear Rob filling his spots. I don't know how many are left. How many? Ten. Ten, Ten spots left in the winner take all, guys. Ten bucks. That's all you need. Ten bucks to uh, to spend, and you will get an entry. So I mentioned the uh, this card is going to Camilo. It's Fred Dean. So Camilo. That's your Fred Dean. What do you call him? The glossy star card. 
unanswerable is an uncorrect error. The score is actually 38 to 9, not 28 to 9. Ah, good to know, Stephen. Good to know. So it was, it was more of a butt whooping. I see. 37, Robert Brazil. Oilers. Thirty-eight, Rod Martin. <clears throat> Thirty-nine, Seahawks team leaders with Kurt Warner. <laughs> Joe D. From the Browns. Well, Tanner and my dad. I was 13, but he wasn't a football follower. Just but playing in his work pools. I did his picks. <laughs> yeah, so technically you lost it. I see how it works. All right. Well, 41, Van McElroy. Raiders Pro Bowler. So how much, if you would have gotten it right, Kevin, how much would have your dad would have won? What was the pull? Bob Golich. Brown. Forty-three. Passing leaders with Dan Marino. Dan Marino rookie sighting. Uh, for Camilo. Forty four, Jerry Robinson, Eagles. Forty five, Danny Walters. Chargers. 46, Ray Horton, Bengals. 500 dollars if you would have won. Wow. That would have been nice. 47, West Chandler. Does anyone know if the USFL back in the 80s ever do football careers? Yeah, they did. Didn't they do uh, 85 and 86? USFL? And on the 85, you kept the... Uh... What's that? Winner take all is closed, guys. Winner take all is closed. Gary Anderson and Mark Mosley. Uh, 85 tops. USFL... Uh... I want to say that's, um, whose tricky card is that in 85? I can't think right now. Card 49, Gerald Riggs. Steve Young, Steve Young rookie card, right? And Jim Kelly. And Jim Kelly. Uh, oh, um, Reggie White. Reggie White as well. Eighty four eighty five, yeah. Darren Cherry Car fifty Camilo fifty one Greg Bingham. Fifty two, Mike Ken. <clears throat> Fifty three, Jack Youngblood. Defensive end. Fifty four, Roger Craig.
Here we go, guys. 1984 Tops Football Rat Pack number 10. In the books. Uh, we're going to take all time. We're going to take all number one. This is for Nice stack of vintage cards, a free spot in a 73 baseball set break, and a spot in the 1990 score supplement set break. Uh, where uh, we're going to have Emma Smith uh, do the autograph of the card in person. So, this is for our first winner take all. Uh, it needed 100 entries at $10. Uh, it's going to get a free spot in the 73 set break, a free spot in our 1990 sports supplement set break for Saturday at Chantilly. Um, we're going to have uh, Emma Smith there pull his own rookie card, sign it, and then give it away to a lucky winner. Wherever that is, I don't know. We'll find out. And the 68 tops, Pete Rose, 69 Banks, Monte Irvin, Harmon Kilbrew, Bobby Thompson, Carl Ferrello, Ron Santo, Reggie Jackson. Tony Perez, Burt Blylevin, Daryl LaMonica, and Eugene Simpson. Second year. So, all that for one lucky individual. Let's see who that is. That's a six on the random. One. Two. Mark Bennett on top. Three. Dennis Paulson. Four. Dennis Paulson, five, Camilo. And the winner of the winner take all number one is at six, Michael McKinney. Michael McKinney. Mike, congratulations. Michael McKinney. Yep, K E Y. All right, Mike. Congratulations, sir. Let me uh, email Victoria. Nineteen seventy-three Tops baseball set break. Going to Michael McKinney and nineteen ninety score supplemental set break. All right, well, congrats, Michael. That's all yours, my friend. Not sure if you're in the chat or not. Yeah, you are, Mike. Congratulations, Mike. Okay. Finally. <laughs> Mike, it was worth the wait, right? It was worth the wait. I think I got time for a couple packs. Nineteen eighty four Donruss pack one twenty four. with the Express. 
All right, so I know you guys um, grew up in the 80s, 70s, 80s, most of you guys. Some of you guys, 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm assuming none of you guys were into comics, or were you not into comics? Were you into comics, along with baseball cards and sports cards? Um, I am hyped about the f Avengers, the end game. Uh, it's gonna be uh, once tickets come out, it's gonna be sold out in like a day uh, for any kind of first weekend showing. Uh, yes, sir. No, no. Come on, man. That's huge, Cowboy. Okay. Nice, Mike. You're with a fellow Cowboys fan too. So yes, I wish you luck. Nice, Stephen. But so, did you read like the the Infinity? Uh, I wonder what year did that come out though? The Affinity Stones, stuff like that. I think it was in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it came out. Oh yeah. So the Infinity Gems or Stones appear in 1972, 75, 77, and then again in 1990. So it was in the 70s. Uh, Mr. Mark Caven, uh, 94 SP 149. Tell you what, man, it's in the shoe. I'll do it for you. I can't promise you that it is or not. What? 94 SP? Wow, you're a lucky, lucky individual. That was the last pack in the shoe. I'll do that one next. Nice, Steven. John, huge comic collector. All right, so do you do have the uh, the Soul Gem Marvel premiere, April nineteen seventy two? You have that one, John? Okay, let's record. This is for nineteen eighty four Don Rose Wax Pack number one twenty four. Good luck to Michael, Chad, Steve, Mike Merrill, and Stephen Carter. You got a copy, wow. Look at you. Is it graded? Uh, that's a seven. One. Two. Oh, dismiss. Three, four, five, six, seven, Nine point two. Wow, that's a nice grade, John. Nice. Chad, right here, first card for you. I need the puzzle. That's a high grade, my friend. Kevin, my wife hates how when we watch the Marvel films that I get. I get to the references Easter eggs. Oh, you get all the references in Easter eggs. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. If you're a true, true comic book fan, like you should get all of that. Uh, my parents never bought me comics when I was growing up. Unfortunately, Tom Brunaski. That's a nice card. Wow, that is beautiful. Chad, I don't know the pop report in this one, but that's amazing. But Don Mattingly comes out like this. Ooh. Ooh. Card two. Hall of Famer, Steve Carlton. See, I always wanted to read comics when I was younger. Uh, the problem was that my parents never bought me any because I never brought it up. It's because my friend group, my circle of friends, were not into that at all. 
at all. They were not into like the nerdy stuff, which is cool now. But back then, that was not cool. No, no Dungeons and Dragons. No, um, you know, anything that nerdy that people do. Not like you know, you weren't allowed to do it in my circle. Just couldn't. Bunt Anderson for Mike. Bert Hooten, card number four. You know, it was mostly parties, girls. Again, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I never had opportunity to be a nerd, which I am on the inside. Jeff Lati, Lati. Andrew, the Star Wars break. Mm, well, I want to say no, but I'll have to check for it. Star Wars. Uh, we have two. We have two Star Wars packs we have to break still, uh, Andrew. Uh, four series, pack 47, and first series, pack 19. I'm not sure which one you're in, but those are two packs that we still have to break. <clears throat> Kevin, yes, I was a closet nerd, and I hit it very well. <laughs> <clears throat> Card six. Roy Lee Jackson. But I, I was able, because video games at that point uh, in the 80s started booming. Nintendo, uh, I remember Atari first came out. I had an Atari. Uh, I was playing nonstop. I was playing so much that I burned the inside of the Atari <clears throat> like the ribbon caught on fire so mad Jason Thompson and I couldn't get another one because it was so expensive at that time uh, so I became a, a game geek and at that point it was okay to be a game geek UL Washington Fizz the Ox. What's up, man? It's a little off center now. Did you get, do you get Harper off Machinko? <laughs> Why is that, Fizz Ox? Why would you say that? Jonathan, J5, what character do you play? <laughs> for, uh, for, for what? For D&D? &D? For what are you talking about, John? There's a checklist. That's a beautiful checklist. Wow. Dead on. Let's go to Steven. Card 10. Mike Moore. In the 60s, my dad had these cities comic magazines. Distributor on his mail route. Got me the new Marvels every week at Wholesale 8 cents. Wow, Mark. That's crazy. Did you keep those in like a mint condition or did you read them, crumble them up, and just put them somewhere? I was, I'm hope it's the. <laughs> uh, in DD. Oh, uh, right now I'm playing a. Um, a deaf cleric. Deaf cleric in DD. Joe Price. For Mike. I am a, a drow, a dark elf. Oh, okay, face Ox. Yeah, I get it. Uh, do I get heartburn? I, I guess I do. Um, I did get my gallbladder removed, so um, I am missing an organ. It kind of be messing me up a little bit, but not too much. But thanks for noticing, face Ox. So you think that's what's causing all the uh, clearing my throat? It usually happens after I eat. I, I don't know, I guess... Fleming. Dan Driesen, card 13. Card 14, Terry Kennedy. John, man, it doesn't look good. I have a Yankee coming up, but it's not the Yankee we want. George Frazier.
That is 84 Don Rose Wax Pack number 124. Oh, okay, Mark. Man, that's a shame. But it's cool, though. You still, you know, you still got to, uh, every week, a Marvel comic. That's awesome. Yeah, Fizz, I think that's the issue. Uh, what? That I don't have my gallbladder. Yeah. Let's so get heartburn. All right, last pack of the day, guys. Last pack of the day. Ninety-four SP pack one forty-nine. Uh, we will be back on tomorrow around four ish. Uh, Mark, uh, yeah, Mark, uh, what do you have now? That's like a mint condition. Uh, I'm assuming it's, for, it's going to be from the, you said 60s? Uh, so that's a Silver Age? Nice, Mark. Uh, okay, let's randomize the list. This is for a 1994 SP baseball pack 149. Good luck to Mark, Russ, and Todd. That's a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's the list. Okay. There are only two silver age comments to ever get 10.0. Wow. Nine point eight, okay. All right, Troy. I'll see you tomorrow, my friend. Fix out. It was great. I can tell you. It went well. Mark, first card right here. Oops. Right. How was your weekend, Fizzox? What did you do this weekend? Okay. So the last SP94 pack, I did pull my first die cut Premier Prospect Red Hollow something something. Was anyone good? I I don't think so. I don't recognize it. But I Red was, Hollow die cut? Yeah. That's a good card. But if anybody really? Or it just has to be a I mean the common is just so-so unless it's PSA 10. Okay. People are definitely completing the set in PSA 10 regardless of the player. Uh, that was my first one I ever pulled. They're not easy to pull. This is Alex Gonzalez die cuts. Man, I have a fellow. What up? All right, John. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Be real, bro. Stay real. Jeff Bagwell. Go for Russ. Car three. It's uh, Mike Henneman. <laughs> Car four, Andre Galarraga. The thing, uh, the, uh, the one thing that got me into like, uh, like more into comics and Marvel itself was the uh, X Men cartoon show on Fox when I was growing up. Da -da 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 -da. That was a great show. Uh, Latroy Hawkins. Red foil, Premier Prospects. Yeah, I know. Wrong, Alex. <laughs> uh, that was car five. That went to Todd Monowski.
David Cohn is going to Rusty. Card seven. Javi Lopez. And the last card of the pack and of the night is David Justice. All right, that was 1994 SP pack 149 in the books. All right, let me turn that off, clear this up. <clears throat> Right, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure breaking with you guys tonight. Um, we'll be back tomorrow around four o'clock. Uh, it's going to. Uh, I'll start the show. Victoria will take over, and then Mikey uh, will finish off the night. <clears throat> uh, so, on behalf of myself, Rob, Sam, Victoria, Layton, uh, and Stu, you guys have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay, stay safe, guys. See you guys.